Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Rockin' Storytime. Let's start off by clapping our hands. Can you clap your hands along with me at home? Here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. To all our friends at Storytime, we clap and sing hello. Great job, everyone. Now we're gonna stomp our feet. I know you can't see my feet, but here are my knees. One, two, are you ready to stomp? Here we go. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Today we're gonna to be reading some bird stories. So instead of using the word bird, I thought we would use the word flying for our bread and butter word for today. So can you say flying? Flying, flying. That'll be our bread and butter word. And for bread and butter, we clap our hands and we clap our knees. Clap our hands, clap our knees. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say flying as fast as we can. Flying, 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 flying. Oh, that's not too bad. Flying, 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 flying. <laughs> it still kind of sounds like the same word, doesn't it? How are you doing at home? Flying, 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 flying. Pretty good. Let's try another. Here we go. <laughs> Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say flying as slowly as we can. Flying. Good job. So it has that nice F noise at the beginning. F -f flying. That's a good one. Let's do another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say flying as loud as we can. Flying. Great job. One more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say flying as quiet as we can. Flying, good job. Let's see what our first birdie story is today. And this birdie story, I think is supposed to be sung and I don't know the, the tune. So if anyone knows the tune of this, let me know. This is Sing Some More, written by Deborah Dyson and illustrated by Howard Gray. Here we go. We're the birds that make the music. Oh, that's right, birds make lots of music. Maybe you've even heard some birds singing outside your window this morning. Tweet, tweet, ka ka We're the birds that sing the music that you hear up in the trees. We vocalize with gusto and we hit the notes with ease. With our chirps and our arpeggios, we sing just what we please. And when we're done, we sing some more. Look how much fun they're having. <laughs> but I bet they're making a lot of noise. <laughs> we begin our, our day ahead of dawn before a hint of light. As the sun begins to show itself, we sing with all our might. First we solo for our perches, then we sing as we take flight. And when we're done, what do you think when they're done? What do they do? And when we're done, we sing some more. Oh, I love the sound birds make, but look, poor dad here. I think the birds are being too noisy. Looks like baby's trying to go down for a nap and the birds are keeping baby awake. Oh. We perform our songs for others, and we hope you sing along. We have tunes for all occasions, and our harmonies are strong. We create new music daily, and it never comes out wrong. And when we're done, can you guess what they do? We sing some more. <laughs> Look at Oh, that's so nice. The birds even landed on the girl. I thought they were singing her right over, but it looks like she's doing it on purpose. Oh, our voices each are lovely, but together they are grand. 
for our a cappella talents, we do not require a band. We sing ballads, we sing anthems, we're a vocal wonderland. And when we're done, we sing some more. Oh no, what happened here? Looks like the birds scared the squirrels, who scared the dog. <laughs> we have endless dedication to our craft and to our art. And throughout the day, we give it all to each and every part. Yes, we throw ourselves into our work. We sing with all our heart. And when we're done, can you guess what they do when they're done? We sing some more. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Ba -ba. The slowly setting sun does not discourage us a bit, for we know our birdie melodies are sure to be a hit. Yes, we sing and we sing and we sing and we sing and we never ever quit. And when we're done, well, actually, I think it's getting a little late. I'm done. Yeah, I'm tired. Time to call it a night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Are they finally going to sleep? I think it's finally going to be quiet for this family. <laughs> After all that singing. But tomorrow. Are they waving goodbye? But tomorrow we'll sing a song. It's <laughs> a pretty silly one, huh? The end. Great listening, everyone. I hope you like that story, and I think it's time for us to be our own birds. Here, can you stand up and make yourself into a bird? Here, we're going to stand up, maybe stand up nice and tall, give a good stretch, give a good stretch up, and we're going to be scratching for worms. I don't know if you've seen birds do this, but the birds do this near my house. Can you hear something backing up behind me? There's a big truck backing up behind me, but we're gonna scratch some worms in the soil. Can you do this? This is the way we scratch for worms, scratch for worms, scratch for worms. This is the way we scratch for worms so early in the morning. What do you think, would you eat worms? I don't know if I would, but maybe, maybe I would try one just once. <laughs> now we're going to peck at our food. Can you peck with your neck like this? Peck. This is the way we peck for food, peck for food, peck for food. This is the way we peck for food so early in the morning. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Now, now that we've picked some food out of the grass with our, hand, with our feet and with our, our beak, now we're going to sit on our egg. Can you give a little sit? Can you sit right down? <laughs> That's right, we're gonna sit on our egg and keep it nice and warm and safe. This is the way we sit on our egg, sit on our egg, sit on our egg. This is the way we sit on our egg so early in the morning. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Now we're going to flap our wings. Are you ready? This is the way we flap our wings, flap our wings, flap our wings. This is the way we flap our wings so early in the morning. <laughs> Good job. Now we're gonna fly around, are you ready? This is the way we fly away, fly away, fly away. This is the way we fly away so early in the morning. <laughs> Great job, everyone. Let's try that through one more time. Really channel your inner bird. Are you ready? We're gonna get our beaks out. We're gonna get our scratches out. Here we go. <laughs> This is the way we scratch for worms, scratch for worms, scratch for worms. This is the way we scratch for er worms so early in the morning. Good job. Now we're going to do our with, move with our neck again. This is the way we peck for food, peck for food, peck for food. This is the way we peck for food so early in the morning. <laughs> Good job. Now we're going to sit on our egg. Ready? This is the way we sit on our egg, sit on our egg, sit on our egg. This is the way we sit on our egg so early in the morning. Good job. Now we're going to flap our wings. This is the way we flap our wings, flap our wings, flap our wings. This is the way we flap our wings so early in the morning. 
Good job, and one more. Now we're gonna start flapping around. Here we go. <laughs> this is the way we fly away, fly away, fly away. This is the way we fly away so early in the morning. <laughs> Good job, everyone. I think it's time for us to check out our second and last bird story today. And this is how to find a bird. How to find a bird. And I don't know if you can hear a noise. It is very windy outside right now. How to find a bird. Written by Jennifer Ward, illustrated by Deanna Sodoik. Sodoika. Let's see, how to find a bird. There are a lot of ways to find a bird. That's the wonderful thing about birds. Do you see any in this picture? There's one nice and close, but there's even some tiny birds down here. Let's see, like the house sparrow. To find a bird, first you'll want to blend in and move very slowly. Look, we can see some animals that are hiding in the rocks, in the water, in the reeds. Let's see what we have here. This is the great blue heron and the American bittern. Those ones are really hard to see. Can you even see those there? They're hiding in those tall reeds. And look, there's a California quail. They're hiding in the rocks. So all these birds are trying to stay safe by blending into their surroundings. Quiet is good too. So quiet that you can hear your own heartbeat. Shh. Don't just look up to find birds. Look down, low to the ground, where some birds forage, seeking things hiding in the earth. So here we see some birds up high, like the Northern Cardinal and the Eastern Bluebird, but down low on the ground, oh look, someone's getting bur uh, worms, just like we said in our song. We have the Northern Flicker down here. We have the White-throated Sparrow. Look down where some birds sneak a snack. Look down where some birds like to splash. Look, we have the Loon here. And we have the red-billed gull. And this one looks like it's called the rosette spoonbill. Ooh, the rosette spoonbill, what a good name. And I like the color too. If you take a walk, watch your step. Some birds like to nest in the ground. Oh, look, look at all these nests. Can you see those there on the ground? Animals like the killdeer and the red knot and the the burrowing owl, the burrowing owl like to, to nest in the ground. So don't just look up to find birds. Sometimes you can find a bird by looking straight ahead. You will have to have a sharp eye, sharp as an eagle's eye. Oh, this is another tricky page. There's some more birds that are blending into the tree. Do you think you can see them? They're hiding in the tree, let's see. That's right, there's an owl. Can you see them there? One here, one here, and one there. They're really hard to see. Birds are the cleverest blenders of all. This is the Eastern Whippoorwill, and the Brown Creeper, and the Long-Eared Owl. At first, you may not see them, but if you wait, if you're still, and if you're quiet, you'll see you are just as clever as a bird. Of course, you can always look up to find birds too, like the Canadian goose or the purple marten. You can look up high in the sky where birds like to fly. Look at all those pretty birds. I love that they all come in different colors and designs. Sometimes when you look up, you'll find birds simply sitting, like the eastern starling just sitting there, and the red-tailed hawk. If you could perch high in the sky, what might you see way up there? If you want to find a bird, don't be tricked. Some birds are stealthy. Oh look, there's a falcon. Wait, where'd it go? Ah, oh, was that even a bird? It was so fast. Sometimes you don't need to find a bird. It 
will find you. Hello, bluebird. Look, we have a morning dove. And some bluebirds here. Some birds will announce their presence when they're near. I think in our first book, we had lots of noisy birds, didn't we? These birds go, chickadee dee 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 dee, chickadee dee 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 dee, caw 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 caw. Or they announce your presence when they see you. J J J J. Hello, Blue Jay. And if you feed them, they will come. Here's the downy woodpecker and the common crackle. Then all you need is a window to find some birds. Some birds can't be found at all, like the dodo. These birds are extinct, which means they no longer exist. Look, here's the Carolina parakeet and the ivory-billed woodpecker. They're not around anymore. They used to be here, but now they're all gone. But the best way to find a bird, if you want to find them, is to close your eyes. Close your eyes and listen. Did you hear that? Did you hear that bird? Tweet, tweet. Cheerily, cheerily, cheerily. Chirp, chirp. Yitty, 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 yitty. Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you? Who cooks for you? Honk, honk. Chug, 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 chug. Wickety, 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 wickety. Old sample pee, uh, pee body, pee body, pee body. Old sample pee body, pee body, pee body. <laughs> There's a lot of silly noises going on. <laughs> and that's, the wonderful thing about birds. The end. There are so many great birds in this book and there's at the end of this book even more information you can learn about them. But there are so many birds around. Each place that we all live have different kinds of birds. So I wonder if you recognized any of the birds from this book from ones near your house. Let's see, I think we're being stared at by an owl right now. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I think we're ready to end story time with head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Are you ready to stand up? Here we go. Can you find your head? Nice job. Head. Oh my goodness, the wind is so loud. <laughs> ready? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Do you think we can do it a little faster? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Thank you all for coming today and Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose and boop. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. <laughs> have a wonderful day. And don't forget, we do have in-person story time on Tuesday and Wednesday at 1030 if you want to join. See you all soon. Bye-bye.